base training is on a partner website with Family Search called Ancestor Guru. And what's really fun about this website is it's a place for games and puzzles, and it uses the information on Family Search. And I wanted to show you this because I think it could be fun for family reunions coming up this summer. You could have some contests. You could let your family learn about their ancestors in a fun way. So, and also I think it'd be great for Sundays. So I'm going to go ahead. This is the website, ancestorguru.com. That's all you need to type in. And then what you do is you sign into Family Search. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Oh, that's nice. It's saved. And then it'll retrieve my ancestor information. And it just takes a few minutes. It doesn't take very long to do this, unless your internet's slow, <laughs> which sometimes that happens. Okay, so this tells me here that among four generations, I have 16 of 30 people in my tree that don't have portraits. But that's okay. I can just dismiss this, because you can still play the games even if you don't have all the portraits or pictures in your family tree. But it might give you incentive to go do that. So Ancestor Guru has four different games right now, Scramble Tree, Memory, Life's Journey, and Fast Photo. So let's go ahead and look at Scramble Tree first. So there's three different levels. Easy has three generations, Medium four generations, Hard has four gener generations, and they don't include the last names, and the correct ancestors don't fade out. And you'll see what that is once I, once I show you the game. So let's go ahead and click on this. It's really not hard, and I'll show you how it's done. So here are some of the pictures from my, um, what is it, four generations? Right, and here's me in the middle. This is my mom's side on the right, and my dad's side on the left. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and start. Down here you'll see that it's gonna be time, so let's see how fast I can do this. So I'm gonna go ahead, my mom is actually up here, and this is her mother, so I need to change that. My dad is right up here, so I need to change that. His dad is this Emil share right there. Um, his mother is Sophie Holda Engel, so I'm going to switch that. My mom's mother is Bessie Register George, and her mother was Rachel Lou Ella Pope. Um, my Great grandfather on my dad's side is Carl Fair. Martha Louise Williams is, should go right there. This is my grandfather on my mom's side. And then you need to switch these. And then this is goes there. So as you can see, <clears throat> I did this in 48 seconds. So you could let, you know, at reunions, let everyone try it and see who gets the best time and maybe that would be something that kids would like to do a few times to see how fast they could get and that way they're going to actually learn about their ancestors so i just went on the back button and now we're going to try this memory game let me click on that and show you that and so all this is is just going to match up different people you know just match two of each picture and then just try and match it up let me see if I can find something really quick. Because all it does, once you found someone, it'll just actually stay up. All right. I wasn't watching. Okay. <laughs> all right. This one. And that's all it does. It'll just stay up once you get the match. But I think it's nice because you've got the name and you've got the picture. And so hopefully a way that, that your kids and family can learn their ancestors. Okay. The next, the next one's really fun. It's called Life's Journey. And... You'll see how you play this. This is actually a little bit more interactive and something that maybe even young kids would like. So we'll just wait for this to load and I'll explain this one to you. So again, it's called Life's Journey and you're gonna be moving this balloons up or down to try to catch different correct facts about your ancestors. And down here at the bottom, we also have three different levels. So I'm just going to show you the easy level. To start this game, you click on this right, this arrow up at the right, and I'm going to go ahead and click on easy. And what this is, this is a little bit of information about my grandfather, Emil Share. Tells me when he's born and where, who he married, 
and what date and when he died. So I can look at this information and memorize it. And then when I'm ready to play the game, I'm going to click this play button right here in the middle. So I'm just, you try to get as many coins or balloons as you And you move up and down with the, with this. And so when you get this right, it'll kind of just way up here where he was born. So I'm going to try, I never want to see where he's born. I mean, if you do try to get these yellow things too, if you can. I'm not that good with it yet. And he married Sophie. Hold up. Let's see, and they married on July 24th, so I'm just going to let it go. And I just use the arrows to move up and down. Oh, this picture's way up there, so i got to go up there. I'm going to fucking get some of these. Still not very good with that. Okay. <laughs> he died in 1972. And then when you're done, it tells you that I scored 670 points on him. But you just use the up and down arrows and the over on your keyboard to move them around. So that's that game. But I like that game because, you know, you just learn some more information on them besides just their pictures. So that's a fun game. Okay, to go back, let's just go ahead and click more games. And we're going to show this fast photo. Um, what you do is you just try to get the pictures to go in this basket. <laughs> it's a really easy game. But I think even little kids could have fun with this. Um, so, and I'm going to go ahead. You can tap or click the photos of your ancestors and put them in this basket. I'm going to go ahead. My um, laptop is a touch screen. So I will just be touching them to get them in the basket because they do go really fast. So I just touch that and I go in the basket. Touch that. It goes pretty fast. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Sometimes you'll see Santa Claus going through here. I haven't seen him yet. I've seen. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So there is my score for that game. So just something new. That moves pretty fast. So anyway, um, let me know what you think. And I hope you're having a great day today.